Hello there! In this video, I'll be talking about butt powering and how you can use it or avoid it if you want to. Now, budding uh, or block update detection or quasi connectivity or whatever you want to call it is actually a bug in the game, but when Mojang tried to fix it, so many people complained because they were using it in useful contraptions. So you may have seen stuff like this or uh, this kind of freaky stuff right here. Um, th this is what budding is all about. You probably know these types of sandcom designs, right? With double piston extenders, right? They, they double extend and then they pull back. But if you look at it, this piston right here doesn't actually get powered, right? Like, we know that it gets powered by this block, but if you look at it, there's no signal running into it, so how does it work? Same with this setup right here, or this setup right here. Now, do note that this setup right here doesn't work because of the uh, speed that Redstone updates at. So if you push this button, then this redstone, like it all goes at the same time, but this redstone goes before this one. Quasi-connectivity isn't limited to just pistons or trapdoors and some other blocks. It also affects uh, dispensers. So yeah, this is just a normal dispenser. But if you decide to place a block above it, it's still a normal dispenser, right? Right? No. All right. right now it's butted. So in this setup, the dispenser is butt-powered and it will no longer work. Even if I remove the redstone block, it's not going to work one shot, but this button updates it right now, and then it works on the next one. Then again, block above it will work once, and then it will stop working, because now it has updated that there is a block above it, and it doesn't work. A redstone block, that is, or a powered block, or a block with a, a repeater, or a, anything that's active. Same thing happens right here. So you have a dispenser right here, a dispenser right here. You can fire it, it both works. And then if you try to fire it again, only the top one actually dispenses TNT. Because the redstone signal, the power, goes above here. And then when it unpowers, this one is still powered for one tenth of a second. So when you try to dispense it next time, it's still gonna recognize that the block above it has been powered, it's butted, it's a weird setup. This is because when you fire this the first time, It'll just activate normally, activate normally, and then when the signal drops right here, uh, this one is still powered, so this gets budded, but then it doesn't get updated anymore. Same with uh, this type of stuff right here. So I have a, a redstone going into the dispensers on one side, and then powering this redstone right here. You can fire it, everything, I just don't fill, everything dispenses just fine. All right, everything dispensed one piece of TNT. And if I fire it again, it looked fine, but one of these dispensers right here didn't actually fire. So we'll fire it again. And you'll see that this one went down 3 now, and this one is still only at 1. That is because the position that this one is in right here, uh, it's butted. So, again, signal length, signal travels up like this, and for us it's instant, right? If you press this button, all this redstone dust right here, it goes instantly. But for the game, this one goes first, then this one goes, then that one goes, then that one goes, etc. That means that this is the, uh, the dispenser in question right here. It gets powered, right there. Then this one gets powered, which buds this one right here, because it's diagonally above it. I'll explain it in a second. So how exactly does it work? Like, I can break this block right here and this will stay powered. And then if you update it with anything, it'll work just like that. So right now, it is in a position to be butt powered. All it needs is a block update. So if I break this, it's going to update the bottom one. And there you go. Same thing right here. Uh, if I update it, nothing happens. I remove it, and then I update it. There we go. Same thing with breaking. Pistons actually update pistons as well. And this piston, the top piston, in both scenarios, is not actually being butt powered, it's being full powered, uh, you could say. So if I remove this, the top one is just gonna retract like it should, and the bottom one is gonna update because the top one updated. This is also how we can fix these ones right here. So they're all fully filled again. If I add a few pistons just right behind here, fire, the pistons will extract for a short time, everything pulsed, fire again, and it pulsed just fine, because these pistons updated everything. Other fun stuff is stuff like this, like small block update detectors, 
uh, this is in a position to be butted, but if you update it, well, it goes up, then it realizes there's no block right here, the block moved up there, so it retracts again, and then when you update it again, it keeps doing it. So you can have a uh, pulse. This also works when you open like uh, chests and stuff, because opening a chest also gives a block update. And many other things give block updates, like pretty much everything. Same with this first setup that I started with. Uh, redstone breaking even one block away still gives a block update. Now a practical use for these types of setups are of course sand comps and double piston extenders like this. I hope you understand how and why they work now. So this gets power right here, then this line gets powered, the blocks get, get pushed through and then they get updated. So they get updated by moving to a new position. And uh, that's how they expand. Or uh, yeah, and here I have a um, uh, an updater piston as well, which I need because otherwise only the front ones will go because the back row right here is getting butt powered. Another practical use for uh, butt powering stuff is RSB or redstone bypass. It was made for servers like Psycho that limit the amount of redstone updates that you can have uh, in a set amount of chunks or something. I don't know. Um, but it works the exact same way that all of these dispensers are powered right now. Even these ones that are not directly linked to redstone block, uh, but they're butt powered uh, by that, the diagonal one. Uh, these can all be redstone blocks by the way, they don't have to have blocks in between them. But yeah, they move and then they move back instantly and they just pulse their dispensers. So this cannon is a uh, RSB cannon made by Stella Cannoner, and it's seven blocks wide, which is really cool. He just has to add a sand comb, so that may be tricky. Uh, I'm just firing right now with the X-ray feature that was provided by Crystal Cannon, which is probably the best cannon server out there right now. So I hope with this short video I cleared some stuff up, and maybe helped you uh, troubleshoot a cannon. Uh, just try to avoid uh, having stuff like this where blocks above dispensers are powered. And if you do have setups like this because you're making a really compact cannon, it could be worth it to change the signal lengths. So for example, quick pulse the top one, so that when the bottom one pulses, this one goes really short and it's already deactivated before this one deactivates. But alright, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have questions about stuff like this and you see me online on Crystal Cannon, feel free to ask or uh, write a comment uh, with your question. I'll try to reply as soon as possible. Also, leave a like if this was useful and subscribe if you want to see more of these types of videos about things that can make or break your cannon. But that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Peace!